Finally, holy. This took a while. <laughs> but we are here. We're gonna be reacting. There's so many games I have to react to. I wanna react to, I wanna react to uh, Anders Lind. Shout out Anders, he was in the comments in the last video. We need to get into women too. Because women it could be could be playing interesting games. It's just no zero idea uh, what is going on down there. Alexander Kassan and Lin Goyan. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while reacting to stuff. So and then they go in again. The star contender starting over again. Now we're gonna do Malong, Putar, the strawberry. Ooh, so interesting to watch this because later in the week I'm bringing Road to WTT video. My backend was not it, bro. <laughs> My backend was not working so well. So it, like. And I knew why why it wasn't working, but I still couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, it's it's weird playing against these uh, the Chinese guys, even girls. Like I played a girl that has this Chinese style, and it's very tough, like to get used to. Hopefully, ITTF is not gonna bring the live stream down because they've been copyright claiming all my videos. WTT, relax. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, Anders. Beautiful strawberries. He, it's, it seems like he never misses that one. Yeah, chop block. Here you go with the strawberry. Isn't this the WTT contender? Yes, it is. Waiting for that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he went through it. As you mentioned it, what do you feel is different about the Chinese style? They play... It could be the rubbers because they play like more like a harsher, harsher rubbers, right? It's because Europeans are more like using like using softer rubbers and stuff like this uh, what I feel about Chinese style is just the ball always dips it's, there's not a lot of arc always and they just play so quick I yesterday I played against uh, one of our coaches here uh, she's from she's 18 but she's from provincial China team but she also plays this female style where she's always on the table you know very short serve good short game and then just on the table just quick counters and stuff like this I, I don't know like when you play against European players or even like North American players even South American players it's more of like you take a step back from the table and then we start countering but their counters are like it just it just the ball flies different I don't even know how to explain it properly so hard to play against women they always stay close just hit through everything also in Sweden all of them use short pips to make it worse oh my god yeah like short pips is Jesus Christ. I I never liked playing against girls. Okay, hold on. We we missing important information right here. Uh, cause you know you supposed like you supposed to beat them because you're supposed to be like stronger. But then especially pips. Oh my God. Unlucky for Anders, but it is what it is. It's all good. Uh, good tournament. He beat Chan Chin Yuan. Was a good win. It's, it's such a weird surf amount. It look it lo always looks like it's side. But look how it, how it falls. Ew. You hear the <laughs> Bro hit the bottom of the net. Commentary sometimes makes no sense. Uh, yeah, man. I don't want to be extra critical because I know how hard it is. But Jesus Christ. I don't seem to catch what's so good with Malon sir. Malon has a good like a uh, variance of side spin and then like confusing you with what he serves next, right? It's usually most of the time it's side spin to me. I've seen a video of Fung Boy explaining how to avoid having a... Uh, uh, having backhand flick get done against you and it's basically oh, you need to serve side spin but with no curve and I'm like wait hold on how does that work and then and then I tried it yesterday actually it actually freaking works like my long, my long serve here is more of a see just a variance I don't think I don't think you need like something very difficult in order to play at a high level I don't think you need like some crazy serve. I think you need good variance of serves but most most of the time I, if you serve short low and then vary the length like sometimes of uh middle length serve and then sometimes have really fast one with different spins that that's 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 more of what you need you don't need like one crazy serve that like nobody can receive Ballon seems so done like how do how, how is this 2-2 game <laughs> okay like here right there was, it was a, you, it seems like it's a regular side spin serve, but Duda missed it, right? But from what I've seen, it's like, it's very easy for you to start like backhand flick, a back, like a side spin serve like this from, especially from a person who is opposite hand of yours. But then you do similar kind, but you don't make it bounce to the side and it just becomes so difficult out of nowhere. 
And I was like, I was like, I never realized it. And then I tried yesterday, and people like were missing like back and flicks against my surf like crazy yesterday. I'm like, excuse me. Hey, they're playing at the shitty table with the shitty light. All right, Yokmani, Yok, Yokmina, what's up? Ibrahim Diaw or Samuel Walker? Yeah, we can we can watch this. I I never played Sam, but uh, we are his national team. We played England, and one of our guys be, beat him three two, and it was like a big deal back in the day. Chinese all have such a short game. It's it's a combination of actually being good at it and rubbers. My short game, I always struggled. And now I switched to Dignix 09C with the tacky one. The the tacky one, the tacky top sheet. Bro, my short game it becomes so much better. And hurricanes are so tacky. Hurricanes are the most tacky. The only thing I was like interested in, I was like, I wanted to try Li Nyunju Blade. Li Nyunju Blade has great dwell time on back end, it will definitely improve your back end. Sure, yeah, it, that's what people said. Like, it's pretty fast, but it's also a lot of control on it. So I was like, hey, is that a hey, we might we might be using it alone? His back end of this. <laughs> oh, the strength and flexibility required to do that is absolutely insane. But I think I have the most balanced blade out of them all. It's, it's like Viscaria type. Timo Ball, you see, it has very similar to Viscaria. So I think Viscaria is the most. A balanced blade you can you can have because I'm a butterfly guy if it's not butterfly I want it cyber shape is not for forehand but very flat head and backhand I've tried it already since the guy showroom is Timmy's away the custom weight tech is also cool the wooden cyber ship is very mid mm. Alex come on man you have to make those high surf Jesus Christ to try you Mizutani super agility I actually he had a little spoiler for next road to WTT video. We had yesterday we had um, Canadian national team player coming over to practice and for a tournament, and he he was using O nine Cs on both sides, and then he I think he had I think he had Dude Mizutani's LC. I think Hurricane is one of the best rubbers to, not like the very like national team that they because there's so many differences. There's provincial team, there's national team, and all that stuff. I think it's very good if you give it to a kid who tries to make have who you try to teach a kid the proper technique. You buy him, uh, you buy him a hurricane. These Chinese guys are so good. It destroyed my idols. <laughs> they destroyed the players I look up to, bro. What the hell? Chinese also boost the shit out of the rubbers. Yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll I'd boost my dick nicks, to be honest. My dick nicks on NC, I'd boost that thing, but. I felt good yesterday my forehand, so maybe not. But if 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 it was my backhand, I would definitely boost that thing. Oh, they must be so distracting for players. The light also lighting to them. <laughs> the light, there's a light, purple light all over the, the thing. Super dog, what's up? But boosting is not allowed at WT tournaments though, since you're trying to go for that level. I'm not boosted right now. I don't, I think I think that's not true. I think there's some boosting allowed. Or there's a way of you to boost it that that it's not noticeable. Because when you boost it, your sponge can become thicker. So if you boost it just, just enough, you cannot really see it. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. I used to boost 10 Geo 5 hard, but I only boosted it because I wanted it a little bit softer. It was too hard for me. So that's that's why I was boosting it. Not not just, just to make it a little bit softer. That's why... Sometimes people ask me why did I put Calderana so low in my rankings. I think, Jesus Christ, that was good. I think it's sometimes because of games like this. I think he should be beating like he Calderana is top ten, right? To that next level, I think he should be careful with games like this because thank you won this one. But I know, I know, it, all are good players and you can lose, but like to where we see Calderano as, I think Calderano needs needs to be beating those guys. Like first game 10-8, you gotta win this. Like you shouldn't be losing to Quadri Aruna too. With all the res respect to Quadri. The booster contain contains the extremely low evaporation oil. The VSU rate is very low compared to the ITTF detection limit. So until now, you know, using the booster is not detectable. Makes sense. Hey, makes sense. The, uh, I remember when we played Mississippi, the NCTTA, they checked our rackets for booster. Um, I didn't boost anything because I used to play two uh, or five effects, so there was no need. But our uh, our Chinese guys were boosted the hell out, and they had like three rackets of 
of three so basically they had three of the same rackets but they had different levels of boost on each hurricane and they would bring all three and then they would see one will not make it one was air and then one is definitely make it and if the the middle one makes it then they play with the middle one if the middle one doesn't make it they make they play with the third one so they had three rackets and just differently boost them like the amount of boost that they apply it, it's not q right <laughs> Because, oh my god, last time people were coming. Like, it's like you, why is it like you? It's, it's, kind of looks like you, no? It's chill? Like Hugo Calderano, I can say that. Oh my god, Hugo, you need to make those. Oh my god, twice. I'm all for my goat, then chew. But, come on, man. Hugo, that was uh, easy mistakes. First game, he was leading. Third game, he was leading. Then chew. Chill. Yeah, the Q for Chinese name is pronounced like a chip. Okay. Yeah. Because I've been catching some heat in the comments. <laughs> Two viewers now, we were. Uh, now we're 40 plus. Hey. we growing. I like it. Our ch The channel is in growing. Growth of the channel is insane. But I want to I wanna live stream like this every day. And then if we have a uh, road to WTT, we make them on Sundays. So those games, talk to you guys. Maybe do some fun stuff. Dark. Oh my god. Four minutes in Dark or A2 already? Looks like Darko was about to win this one, huh? Oh, snake, a little snake. Calderano plays such an unstable and risky style, so I think he should be in the top. He's he's already close to his 30s, so if he can get his prime together for, for when he's 30, maybe. But I think he just like, he already, he already is complete as a player. Darko is doing great for real. His forehand was kind of shit and still managed to reach such high level, meaning he has huge room for improvement. I mean, his forehand is getting better. He just, he plays a little bit too defensive on his forehand. Oh! Rorik is kind of a joke. It doesn't reflect power the level. Yeah, it's kind of like, I was surprised when I saw like, there, there, there are points obviously, but like, oh my God, Darko. But it's like, first place gets this amount of points, and then second place gets this amount of points. It's like, it should be like like an actual rating system where if you beat someone, then you get you get the points, right? Let's just say, for example, Fan Jandon plays someone who hasn't have any doesn't have any rating, and he loses first round. Yet he will and then loses the next round, right? So he'd be like round sixty four, basically. He'd get only points for people who lost in round sixty four and not for beating Fan Jandon, which would be like shitload. I think that's that's not right. But I, f I think that's how the system works, right? When Kanana plays 100%, he is better than Malone, but he is so inconsistent that he rarely plays that well. And when he does, he might not even maintain it in the same game. I better than Malone is kind of is kind of a stretch, man. How many people are better than Malone? I don't think a lot, man. Thinking about it, Tommy should have a mean short game. <laughs> it's so long, bro. You didn't even need to step like that. Yanjike, best of all time, to be honest. For his run for a couple of years, yeah, he could be considered, I think. But but I think Malone just done it for a longer period of time, so it has to go to Malone. <laughs> Leandro just subscribed. Hello. These two have both achieved. It makes this matchup particularly tense and interesting. Wang yeah, that's what. At the moment, I know Chu's lost, but that's what makes Chu's great. He does just has like this weird technique. Probably won a small tournament, but uh, Fan will win in world world championships. When is world championships, by the way? So what do you think? Wan Chu can win in Olympics. Who's even going? Because it's too allowed only. Is it Malong rush, right? Malong and Fan Jindong? Or is it they're gonna say Malong? You won you won twice, bro. Tell that. Come the calma. Dima will be in his Olympic form this summer? Yeah, maybe. Usually Olympics is such a big tournament, a lot of a lot of the older guys take it very seriously. Like young guys play all these WTTs and stuff. Oh beautiful. When it comes to Olympics, it's usually all guys who like come out of retirement for those. Only thing is sad that Timo, Timo. How many Olympics did Timo play? I think every since 2000, right? He wasn't, maybe 2004 was his first Olympics, I'm not sure. But he never did amazing. If they send Fan and Malong, the Europeans have a chance, but Fan has an injury, so they will probably send one and Malong. Oh, so you're saying not even Fan Jindong will play? I think make China so dominant in the sport. I think it's how serious they take. They allocate a lot of money to it. At the end of the day, it's a, a, everything kind of come down to money. And they have their own like training system and stuff. 
and I just don't think other countries just allocate as much money as Chinese Chinese do. Plus, it's like a national sport, right? So it has to be something said about how how it's so popular for their country. Oh, what the fuck! You'll see fans injured. So you got injured this game. To beat, to keep beating fans in down like this, and back and to back in battle is impressive. Hi, I'm from the Basque country. Love this content. Uh, I make living betting on table tennis, so I love hearing about opinions about the matches. Man, come on. I'm not a betting <laughs> expert. I'm not a betting advisor. I can tell you what's happening, but I cannot tell you who's gonna win. Jadon is like a cute little teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, but he's moving like crazy though. Like he, he has the most insane. Uh, what am I trying to say? Ooh, nice, good comeback. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is Fanjadon is like he has this weird mix of strength and also flexibility that I haven't seen in table tennis players. He just can sit in different positions. Why don't they do forehand flick? It's because if it's a lot of a lot of spin in the serve, it's much more difficult for opponent when you backhand flick. Plus you can you can with back and flick with the if you grip the ball it's yeah it's much more powerful and a lot more controllable where forehand flick you just it's one way and it's kind of flat there's no way you can really spin it people in China said Fangino is like Kung Fu Panda <laughs> yeah maybe Kung Fu Panda <laughs> okay maybe I should have put Lynch and Don in that backhand video oh. So he injured and he just said, no, fuck it. Won the game, he's like, yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm good, bro, it's 2-2. What kind of injury is that? Like probably lower back or something like that? To reward all the loyal table tennis fans in the whole Qatar by having back-to-back -back events there, you can really feel the excitement and love for table tennis there. <laughs> Have you ever played with someone as aggressive as Lin Yuju attacks almost every service and it's really annoying to play against? Yeah. Uh, you kind of have to use them against them. Again, you have to use it against them because they're so aggressive, so you kind of have to bait them into making mistakes. When you play someone like that, booster is forbidden in a tournament. We all know Chinese players using booster. Booster, if you do it right, booster is not. It's not. You can you can boost. If you do it right. Bro, he came over the all this way. Bro, this is crazy. Look how deep he was on the backhand. Jesus. Everybody uses booster, not only Chinese players. Depends on the, depends on rubbers, to be honest. Depends on what you're using. I feel like only those... Hard Chinese rubbers works with uh, best with boosting, otherwise it damages the rubber too much. Yeah, but if you're a professional player, you don't really care, right? You like you you're gonna get sponsored, send you a new one. Oh wow, if it is a country number one fan in here, yeah, Sweden so just glazing truths, so yeah. But I mean, deservedly though, no. like glazing Stiga to be honest. I mean, yeah, Stiga is a, Stiga is a Sweden Swedish company. Uh, what do you think of the Cybershare blades? Blades? They look funny, but I, I don't really, I don't mind them. It's annoying, and I'm glad nobody doing it here. Is purple uh, rubbers, green rubbers, all of that just pisses me off. When I see somebody using light blue rubber, I'm like, God damn, man, what the? F they look cool. What do you mean? I don't like them purple, green, blue ones. I don't know, not for me. Defense. Oh my god! Lin Yun, come on! Oh my god, he came back. He's still undefeated against Lin Win Ru. He goes 4 0. Wait, did, oh, did this this was the last point? Three, three. Oh my God, bro! This year we'll have Olympics. Which player do you see as potentials to upset China? We go with uh, Felix, LeBron. Uh, gonna be playing back home. You know, all crowd is gonna be behind him. So, yo, I feel like those French French boys will, will be nice, bro. You know what this reminds me of? Like it used to be like big venues uh, with a bunch of um, fans in the stands. This reminds me of some. Like this setup that we have right here, like some chairs, some little, very little fans in here. This reminds me of like a pool tournament, man. This reminds me of some amateur, very amateur stuff, which I don't, I don't like. Should be, should be much better, much bigger. I think. The guy you face in the warm up think it will be easy, but you lose three zero to it as a report. It under raking, yeah, man. It's like those. Uh, 
um those old guys like 60 year 60 years old plus who come come to a tournament and they use like anti-spin on both sides and you're like what, what am i supposed to do with this this is not exciting game to watch man come on man okay, give us some good points good backhand but come on man it's like half of the points were like not receiving a serve do you play do you train even together this is disgusting man can somebody make a shot? We're watching number one guy in the world right now. Man. What the hell? Lost to a six-year-old with anti-spin, just slammed it with backhand from my forehead, and he doesn't have my raking. Yeah, man. This is unfortunate. It just, at the end of the day, you just need to learn how to play against those guys to make sure you don't have the better pull out the lemon match. No, man. It's for road to WTT. I'm not going to show it here, man. Lynch it on is one of the surprises for me. Like... I've seen like what he did in WTT finals. The game changed so much. I don't remember. I don't remember like people just having backends like this. Why don't you can just dominate, bro? What the hell, man? Ooh, -hoo -hoo! that was that was nasty, man. Also, ball boys in table tennis is absolutely fucking hilarious, man. It's a ping pong ball. Just, just. Also, what pisses me off is every new point you need to get a new ball. Every new, every new ball is different, man. What's your opinion on the side camera angle compared to the old? I hate this personally. I, I hate it. Every, it seems to me that every video I do is just, just, oh man. It's so bad. I don't know why they did it and I, I want it, I want them to change it so bad. Like, this is the main TV, I guess, feed. And this is so bad. But like, the ones that we've seen of... The ones that we've seen of like the other ones the other games where it's kind of from behind much better so they can man they just i don't know why they decided to do this they overall they made presentation of the game seem very amateur doesn't represent how difficult each ball is yeah it looks like they're just hitting the ball that's it and that's it like it doesn't show the like me as like a semi semi pro guy i guess you it, it would just i would just oh, see yes. so many different things that i can just pinpoint but in here i okay. jesus christ but i cannot just here i just can't man i also feel like the camera angle makes it a lot harder to see the great technique of both players if you have a focus on yeah yeah like old ones are good like Tomorrow for stream, I wanna I wanna watch uh, Darko game versus Timo Ball, and they have the old setup of camera going on. So good. What the? F nah, bro, these commentators, man. Man said man, he missed a sitter, a sitter. Let just just watch this. Look, look how deep he puts the ball into it. It's the most one of the most difficult balls you can do. God damn it, my camera freezing again. It's probably one of the hardest balls you can ever have, right? This one. Look how deep that thing was. The deeper, if if you are ever lobbing, the deeper the ball is, like the, the more closer to the line you can get it. Somebody subbed, I missed. And you say you missed the center? Come on, man. Those are probably one of the hardest ones. Ask Michael Mace. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, bro, his backhand is insane, man. Uh, Dio is YouTuber. Nice, L love that. Love that a lot of people go behind the scenes to show, like, because that's a high level to play at, man. To find the time to do that, that's good. Um, highest rated player. Back to that question. Uh, highest rated player that I played doubles versus. Sim Simon Gozi, but he was back in 2013, man. So he was still playing junior level. A lot of guys, like high rated guys that currently play right now, were junior level back when I played. I beat Andreas Levenko once, and he's what, 70, 74 right now. What is Danny Kozel from Slovenia, the Darko Jorgic uh, teammate? I beat him once. We beat Slovenia in teams, uh, and I played Danny. The same. Seems to have everything on the control. Oh my god. Did you ever beat Fangedon? Yeah. In my sleep regularly, bro. No offense to uh, Dio, but... Oh, wait. He, oh, he, he, he coming back. Okay. We see you. I see you, Dio. 
Damn, from from eight five like that. The long until the next road that video. Me and my friends like them a lot. Uh, I actually recorded one yesterday. We had a tournament yesterday, and we're gonna finish this in a couple of videos. And I'm I'm gonna get straight to editing that one, cause yesterday was a pretty good episode. Wrist injury for me, cause Penhouse. Jesus, bro, what are you? What is your playstyle? Pips short, short, half long pips or some shit? You said, you said pen hold and with like some Donnie. Oh my god, bro, you you probably be the most annoying guy to play against. <laughs> yeah, some walker should be pissed, bro. It was the game was in the back basically. Now he kind of lost all the all the momentum. Bro, his forehand flick is fire, bro. He found something with that flick. I know half long pinks reverse back inside. I do very normal technique, but reverse back inside. But it just happened to have pimple. Flick. Jesus Christ! I kind of want Ibrahim to win. Come on, man. Ooh, what a slice, man! Yeah, Sam should be pissed, bro. Sam, Sam had that, that this one in the back. I think we're done for today's first ever streams. Uh, I want to say my goodbyes to good people in the chat. W's in a shot. Hola, como estas? Hello. Thank you so much for joining me on today's stream. I don't promise it's going to be every day, but we overall had 700 views almost, which is great. Perfect time. I had to go to sleep anyway. Awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm hitting... A perfect time because we have some such so many different demographics so i'm hitting per perfect time you're going to sleep it's morning for me it's it's good time for me to stream anyway yeah perfect well thank you so much for joining me next year we're gonna get more viewers i'm pretty sure about that we're gonna we're gonna do well i'll plan i'll plan something out i see you next time